something went wrong in the production process. Well, now my most favorite. Hi, Barbie. Hello everyone, Natasha Bursik is with you, and in this video, I will make a review of a sweet couple, a Barbie doll and Ken for the upcoming movie The Barbie Movie. That is, very soon we will watch the long-awaited movie. Well, in the meantime, he is having some kind of crazy promo campaign, a huge number of collaborations are coming out, Margot Robbie is coming out in various Barbie images. And more recently, the stellar premiere of the film took place. And in honor of the premiere of the film, let's take a closer look at Barbie and Ken in their main basic images. And it will probably surprise you, but I will not leave these dolls in my collection. I'll play them on the boost. So right now you can subscribe and try your luck. Perhaps Barbie and Like will be in your collection. Thanks to Ilaris and Igor Kasparov for supporting this review. Also thanks to the fashionable dolls Ekaterina Yemelianova, Dizza, and the Risks of St. Petersburg, and the permanent exclusive, Cherry Fox and Bun with Anxiety. The dolls belong to the budget series, their boxes are smaller in size than those of the collectibles. The top of the box and almost the entire front side is made of transparent plastic. At the bottom is the Barbie de Movie logo, shimmering with holographic radiance in the company of a comet star. The age limit is 3 plus and the logo of the motel company. The design of the sidewalls is the same as on large boxes with hearts, logos, and the image of the Dreamhouse house. The reverse side of the Barbie box looks more like a Barbican box. Here is the same live photo of Margot Robbie. But we decided not to bother with Ken's box. For some reason, Ryan Gosling was deprived of personal photos, and here is just an image of the Dreamhouse. Well, the standard greeting from Barbie land and a wish for the best day. Both dolls are made in Indonesia. Dolls and boxes are placed on the same background. This is a dream house and a house territory. Barbie is standing on a small cardboard step. Ken doesn't have one. And by the way, Ken feels a lot heavier than Barbie. And there is a surfboard included with it, and there are no additional accessories included with Barbie. Unlike collectible dolls, these dolls don't even have coasters and certificates of authenticity. Well, the sweet couple is unpacked. Together they go well together and immediately a frame from the trailer appears in front of my eyes. Well, I will start a more detailed review, of course, with the long-suffering Barbie doll. The one whose appearance was hit by a wave of criticism after the publication of the first live photos. In principle, with her mold, with her face, we have already met with you in the review on barbecue in a big way. But now we see this MO with bangs. Exactly the option that I didn't really like. And by the way, many believe that this doll should not have made an individual mold for Margot Robbie at all, since Margot Robbie plays Barbie, so the doll could have a standard and beloved superstar mold with a good-natured smile. Well, the doll is a mold again, anyway, it turned out to be more serious and adult, despite the wide smile. She also reminds me of a desperate housewife from an ideal American suburb, but judging by her smile, she's up to something insidious. Her image is clearly inspired by the fashion of the 50s, and also looks like the image from the issue of the Barbie reproduction of 1964. The doll's face, her drawing, makeup are exactly the same as those of the Barbics more. Only the basic eyes are smaller in size and a little in a bunch. The eyes are bright blue with brown cilia at the bottom and black at the top. There are peach shadows on the movable eyelid. Eyebrows are brown with a sharp curve. There is a light pink blush on her cheeks, and a pastel pink lipstick on her lips to match the color of her image. And a line of white teeth is painted. And I was thinking that another feature of her face is deep sharp. They are not very doll-like and stand out on her face. Unlike other Barbie dolls, the bangs of this doll are straight, heavily patched. It is firm to the touch and literally looks like the visor of a cap. Because of this, she also creates a shadow on the doll's face. In the film, the bangs were split and looked more lively, and the doll version is very controversial and perhaps the new owner will make her a new styling. By the way, estimate how large the distance between the bangs and the forehead is. Part of the hair near the face is collected in a small ponytail, a malvinka with a transparent elastic band. And a silky pink bow is fixed on the top of the head and it seems to be held only by a plastic pin. And due to the fact that it is right on top of the head, it is not very visible from behind and not very visible from the front. Only when you look at the doll from above. Well, the doll's hair itself is sandy blonde, not very thick to the touch. 
There is no feeling of the magical volume of the hair of Barbie dolls of the 90s. It seems to me that here it was necessary to imitate not Margot's hair, but the hair of the Barbie doll that she plays. That is, to make them more voluminous and more doll-like. The hair is slightly wavy. In general, they are soft and pleasant to the touch, and they shine beautifully in the light. The firmware is thick, the head is not very soft to the touch. And I remind you that this is a new mold of 2022nd year. The doll is wearing a set of earrings and a necklace with flowers similar to a white lotus, only with a pink center. Earrings are white pearls, and flowers seem to hang on them. They are easily removed from the ears. The necklace looks very delicate and is fixed on the body with transparent elastic bands. I will not take them off, so that it does not stick out at the new owner. On the reverse side there is a cut and it is interesting that the center of the lotuses near the cut is not colored. As if they are separate fasteners and they are separated by beads. And by the way, I noticed that there are beads between all the colors in the necklace. On the doll's right hand is a wide bracelet in a slightly different style. It seems to consist of white beads or white pearls, which are framed by oval pink beads. Initially, they are also white, but painted pink. And there is a cut on the bracelet for easy removal. To be honest, the dress upset me because it is made of rustling synthetic material. It's practically a wrapper dress with AliExpress. Do you know what reminds me? A raincoat. That is, the material for jackets. And in the movie it looks like a cotton dress, a cotton sundress. And it would be great if it was the same for the doll. One more point, there is a lot of material on the skirt, it is in a fold, but there is no petticoat. Although again, he is in the movie, and he makes this dress more doll-like and more lush. The stitch at the top of the bodice is crooked. There is a pile of threads here, but this is a special case and I saw that everything is okay on other dresses. At the top is a dress with straps made of the same material. There is a belt on the waist. It is movable, as it is sewn only on the back side near the velcro. By the way, there is also a pile of threads here. Something obviously went wrong with this dress during the production process. It's good that the threads are pink and, in principle, it's not very noticeable from afar. Well, the velcro is white. On the belt is a large rectangular buckle made of white plastic and decorated with round reliefs around the perimeter. By the way, in this place it is sewn to the dress, so it cannot walk on the belt. The hem of the dress is sewn with the same pink thread, and everything is neat here. Well, if you lift the skirt, then a clear effect of Marilyn Monroe is created. And let's look at the panties. It turns out that this doll has two pairs of them, relief and real. The real ones are made of silky white material, hemmed at the edges and at the top on an elastic band. This is what it looks like from the back. The seam is located here. The doll has charming high-heeled shoes on her feet. My favorite accessory in this image. They seem to be simple, but at the same time incredibly elegant, with a pointed nose, with prominent relief hearts on the front side. And there are also small round reliefs on the hearts themselves. That's just the heart on the right shoe is a little crooked, so it doesn't really look like a heart. The shoes are secured with rubber bands. Without them, I think they will subside. The heels stand out smartly, but there is nothing interesting on the sole. Well, now my favorite comparison of a doll with Margot Robbie. Jewelry in real life is more elegant. For example, only flowers stand out on earrings. And the flowers on the earrings look straight, and the dolls are directed to the sides. The belt buckle is completely different, it is thinner and oval. The bracelet is different in color, and it's on the other hand. The bow on the head is located at the back, and it is the same checkered as the dress. Well, the heart on the shoe stands out in color, and the doll has the same as the shoes. This Barbie has a hinged body like a Barbie extra. You can consider it in more detail in the review on Barbie Cowgirl. Well, we are already moving on to the review of another Barbie accessory. This is Ken. Hi Barbie. It is with this moment from the trailer that I associate this Ken. And his image is beachy, relaxed and simple. He's wearing shorts and, of course, an unbuttoned shirt to show off his musculature. Outwardly, this Ken is very pleasant and cute. In mold and drawing, he is very similar to Ken Life IND Jim House, only with an open smile. As you can see, unlike Barbie, he was not made to look like Ryan Gosling, perhaps because of his specific appearance. But in any case, in the trailer Gosling takes his charisma and bribes in the role of Ken. By the way, put a like if, like me, you are waiting for Ken in a cowboy image in the company of this Barbie, or just if you like my videos. And I want all of you to smile as big as this Ken right now. Although, to be honest, his smile seems a little strained to me. But next to Barbie, you always need to be happy. He has blue eyes too. The upper contour of the eyes is black, without eyelashes. The lower ones are brown with small cilia. A fold of the eyelid is drawn above the eyes in brown. 
Eyebrows are wide brown, with a slight bend, and with traced hairs at the bridge of the nose. The lips are peach-colored and the teeth line is painted white. By the way, this Ken doesn't have perfectly symmetrical eyes. They are slightly different in size. But this is almost imperceptible in person, as is the bitmap print on the eyebrows. I noticed her only when shooting close-ups. Ken has a hard helmet made of his blonde hair on his head. That is, the hair is stitched, this is a plus. But they are tightly laid so that not a single hair sticks out. A parting is sewn on the side of the head. Ken also has bangs, but it is also pulled back and strongly secured. At the same time, it creates a beautiful volume in front. The back hair is straight oak, especially at the bottom. Therefore, we will not check its firmware. But I peeked and saw that the mark on the back of his head was 2022 years old. That is, this mold can also be considered new. As for clothes, I just want to say that the quality of the material is better than that of a Barbie dress. The material is much more like cotton, it is pleasant and natural to the touch. The print is a pastel stripe of pink and turquoise colors and a yellow speck on the turquoise stripes. On the front side of the shirt there is an imitation of buttons with white buttons. They are just glued, but in fact there are no fasteners and velcro. But at the same time I noticed that quite realistically there are little threads sticking out in these places. And actually the buttons are sewn together with threads. This can be seen from the inside out. Apparently, to make them realistic, because they are still glued, they are sewn on. The shirt has a collar. On short sleeves imitation of doorways. You won't be able to deploy them. And this is how it looks from the back. A little going and a little crumpled. But the shorts fit just perfectly. They have an imitation zipper sewn on them, real pockets on the sides, and Ken can put his hand there. They are neatly sewn at the bottom, and on the back side there are buttons, not even velcro. And here they were sewn with pink thread for some reason. So it didn't work out to unbutton completely. On his feet are white sneakers made of rubber. They have embossed lacing. The reliefs are on the front side and by the way they look like converses. On the reverse side there is no slit, and on the sole there is a relief inscription Ken. There are some extra pieces of fabric on the inside of the shirt. It looks like it was sewn in a hurry. And this is what Ken's body looks like, and I was surprised that it was marked 2022 years old. That is, the body is new, it is articulated, that is, there are hinges not only in the shoulders, but also in the elbows, in the hands and in the knees. At the same time, in the hips, the legs almost do not spread apart, but it can be put on the twine. And this Ken's head tilts just a little bit. It does not bend to the right side at all. Included with Ken is a blue surfboard. It is literally the color of the blue water in the Barbaland Sea. And by the way, a similar surfboard, only multicolored, has already been produced before with Ken. And to prove this, there is a mark on the board 2016 year. There are two Ken foot holders on the board. And that's how he looks on it. It is firmly fixed on his legs. Well, let's compare the image with the movie. There are pink buttons on the shirt, and they don't stand out so much. In the doll, they are white on the other side. The yellow circles on the stripes in the print are smaller in size and not so noticeable. Well, the review of this sweet couple is coming to an end. I am waiting for your opinion in the comments. It seems to me that Ken turned out to be even better than the basic Barbie. But despite this, this is the main image from the film, so these dolls will definitely be interesting to many collectors. Put likes, write comments, smile more often, love cats. And I wish you a wonderful day at your dream house. And bye bye to everyone.